For this video, I'm going to show how to fix a block that has a wrong located insertion point. Sometimes it happens when blocks will be created, they'll be placed into a wrong insertion point like this right here. Um, this point should be where right about here, or if it was you know mostly placed, it could be placed at the top here. It really depends on how often you insert this block. Um, it could be placed in the center if you wanted it to be in the center, but placing it way over here is a bad idea. The reason why is if you were to try to select this block and you go to the insertion point and you go to try to move it, you want to move it from this insertion point here, you can't because it's being selected down here. That little icon down in the bottom left, that's the insertion point of this. It shouldn't be way off in the distance over here. So what we're going to do to fix that is first I'm going to show you one way to do it and I'll show you a much better way to do it. Um, so if I would go into here and I go into the block editor, I'm just going to hit move. And if I go from the quadrant and I do a little hashtag zero comma zero and I put it down there and I hit close block editor and I save the changes, you can see everything just kind of got shifted all here. Our friend Batman uh, will be able to fix just the location of the A's, but you know, if I have a bunch of these, uh, it's kind of a pain to actually have to go and select each one of these and have to move them all back up. Um, you know, sometimes some of those blocks, this one's all kind of gridded out, but if they weren't in a grid and you have a, a variety of blocks placed in different locations, um, it's a little bit of a pain to kind of fix. So a quick way to fix this is I'm gonna do an undo back into the block uh, editor like this. And what I'm actually gonna do as I'm going to select this block and do a control shift C. And the reason why I shift is it actually asks for a base point. If I were just to do control C, uh, I select and I do control C, it doesn't ask for a base point at all. But if I add control shift C, then it, I can specify a new base point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here to specify my new base point. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to control shift V and paste in that very same block that I just copied right into the very current block that I have here. And I'm just gonna click OK. So what I have now is this block basically pasted as a block, but just given a weird name because whenever you could do a control shift V, it just gives it a random name, um, but it's within the same block and I'm placing it right next to the original block where it was. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my layer properties up here and I'm just going to click a, a new layer and just call it junk. I'm going to grab all the stuff that was in here. And if, if there was other stuff, make sure to grab that as well and place that all onto the junk layer. Like that. Now I'll show you a, a reason why we're, I'm doing that in a second. Close the block editor and save the changes like that. So now I have doubles basically right next to each other. So, but w this block, instead of when I did that update and this block moved down here, this block is now gonna stay where it's actually located. I'm gonna hit X to explode, select all these blocks. If there's multiples and you wanna select multiples, say you have like thousands of wrong blocks, uh, a quick way to get into that is to use our quick select. So if I deselect everything, I go into my quick select, I select that I'm gonna have a block reference is the thing that I want to select. Scroll down, I find the name right here, and since Bub is the only one in here, that's what's being selected. But if there's multiple, make sure you go find it. Click OK, and it basically selects all the Bubs. So if you have thousands of them, it'll select them like that. Now I'm gonna hit X for explode, and explode that block back out. But this block, you'll see, stays as a block object. So now what I do to get rid of the one that here, I'm just go back into my quick select, go to layer and find that junk layer that I put all that extra stuff on and then just hit delete. So now, again, if you have multiple things, if you only have a couple, you don't have to add the junk layer. This is so if you have a ton of stuff, it's just a quick way of selecting everything. So you don't have to go in and pick, 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 pick um, each individual object. So now to move all these guys, again, I could just either Use my quick select again, but since these are all the same name, I can just right click. I can well, I can select it first and right click, and then go down to select similar, and select similar will pick the same type of object uh, because it's all the same name uh, multiple times. Now I can just move it back over to where it should go. Now, 
I just look at this name here and I go, oh, I don't want to keep that name. That's just a weird name. What I can do is purge out the old one. So if I click onto here, here's that old bub. I'm going to purge that guy out of here. Goodbye, you. I'm going to hit close. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rename tool. So I'm going to say rename. Select this block and I'm going to rename it to. And I can either choose the same bub or I'll call it bubble just to show you that there was a visual difference. And now when I click up to here, he's back to bubble, just like that. Real nice quick way to fix uh, an issue for all these multiple blocks are all off different, you know, insertion point. Quick way to fix it. Just make sure to put that insertion point right where it should be. Um, and you'll have a much better time with AutoCAD.